I'm really loving how I'm able to find these spots with Google Maps. We found a, a nice little lake, kind of a sketch area, but uh, it looks pretty cool and we are going to try it out, man. So I'm meeting up a subscriber that I met through Instagram. He's been sending me uh, messages and pictures of all his catches he's been making uh, along the Texas coast. He's been sending me photos of lures that he's trying to develop as well as these little small video clips of him I guess testing those lures out and I've decided to go ahead and fish with him today because he seems like a little little cool little dude and uh, that's who we're meeting up at this little pond. Okay, man, we're here. Um, the little subscriber, he's gonna be a little bit late, so I'm gonna go ahead and make the trek down to the pond. Sometimes doing these pond hopping excursions, man, will lead you to some sketchy area. And this area, this area is not the most pleasant, not the most pleasant area in Houston, I tell you what, but I don't care, I love the fish. And we're here, man, we're gonna fish. Let's see if we can catch some big fish today in this hidden pond. Well, first, I can't get ran over. <laughs> I think we're gonna catch some fish today, boys. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. It's hot, 95 plus. But this pond looks very small on the map. Now, whether they be big fish, I don't know. As long as we catch some fish. And we thank Google Maps for the information. Check this out, fellas. That wasn't bad as of a hike as I thought it would be. It's nice. And the water is clear, wow! That water is so clear. Dude, that's crazy. Just looking how clear this water is. It's, it's pretty crazy that what you can find using Google Maps, man, this is crazy. Well, it's really shallow here with a lot of, a lot of grass. I imagine I need to go over there somehow. That's where the big fish are gonna be at. Let's see. Let's try to cut through this thick brush here. Oh my God. Oh man, I'm getting too old for this. Whew, made it. One thing I forgot to bring is a mosquito spray and we are getting eaten up right now. Not sure what bait's gonna be good here. So I'm just kind of casting, just dropping in the grass. Hopefully it doesn't pick up too much grass. I might have to make it um, weedless, but the water is so clear. It's crazy what you, oh, there we go. None. Wow, already. Oh, wow, that's a good fish. He's a good fish. Look at that. Oh my God, that's a good fish already off the bat. Wow, second cast. Look at that. Let's go, baby, on the new Bantam. Dude, that's a good fish. Holy smoke, look at that. All right, bud, I'm gonna let you go, I promise. Dude, look at that toad, bro. Man, he's skinny, man, they don't eat. But I imagine he's probably about a, a three pounder right there, man. Check this out, dude. Are you serious already? Second cast. Dude, that's crazy. That there is some crazy stuff right here. Second cast, I already got destroyed by a three pounder on the Guggen baits and he took my freaking bait. Check that out, man. Beautiful fish. All right, my man. There you go. Ooh, it is hot, man. Jeez, it's hot. Oh, there was a fish right there, dude. Fish right there. He's about to attack it. Right here. Let's do it again. There he is. There he is. There we go. <laughs> Side cast <of> him. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so funny, man. <laughs> The water is so crystal clear, you can see him come and attack it. That's so crazy. All right, my man, hold on, hold on. He's pretty hungry, obviously. He came and attacked my uh, lure from the grass area. Come on, little man. There you go. There you go. Swim freely. Swim free and healthy. 
All right, would you look at that, guys? First 15 minutes, three fish already, and a gallon of sweat. It's freaking hot out here. And man, I just started. I've just met up with my little man subscriber, like I told, I was telling you guys about when I was driving here. Young man, what is your name? Lucas. Lucas. Yeah. How old are you? Fifteen. You're 15 years old. You have a girlfriend? No. <laughs> you don't have a girlfriend? Not yet. You know why you don't have a girlfriend, right? Because you fish a lot. You like Justin Bieber because you have the Bieber haircut. <laughs> All right, guys, man, this is the little man. I really like this guy because he reminds me of myself when I was 15 years old, always fishing in these back ponds, back lakes. But uh, guys, check him out, man. I'm gonna leave a link of his Instagram in the description below. Show him some love, man. Young man, got good head on his shoulders and uh, stays out of trouble and likes to fish. There's a big bass right there looking at it. Take it, baby. Oh, you're not interested, huh? There we go, another one. Wow, these dinks. The dinks are coming out. The dinks are coming out. <laughs> All right, guys, the bite has slowed down here significantly. I think I'm going to head out to the second spot off of Google Maps and uh, Lucas is going to tag along. Before we lose daylight, we only got probably maybe an hour and a half left, so we are on our way. So we're about to leave and uh, homeboy here, <laughs> his mom's cell phone died, we can't get a hold of her, so I'll probably have to give Lucas a little ride, I don't mind. We'll give him a ride yeah. to the pond and uh, maybe uh, she'll meet us up there. What do you say? All right, ladies and gents, we are at our second spot. As I said before, we went from the hood to freaking luxurious, man. Check out this house. House is these mansions. We got a swanky golf course right here. Dude, this is crazy, man. And uh, we're gonna be fishing that pond right there. And there's another one over there. Catch some big fish because no one fishes here. It's private. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we can catch some fish in this little swanky pond. Oh, here we got one on. Nice, good job. You got one on? Yeah. Nice. There you go. Oh, that's a good fish, Lucas. There you go, buddy. That's a good fish, bro. Hell yeah. Heck yeah, man. Look at that fish. Oh yeah, good job, buddy. Dude, show, show the world, man, your fish. Look at that. That right there is a good, I'm probably a three and a half, close to four pounder, man. Beautiful fish, brother. Good job. Heck yeah, man. Let's see that release. Let's see that video release. Woo wee. Good job, man. Don't leave me hanging. <laughs> There we go, nice. Oh, 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 see that one, that jumped. <laughs> yeah, boy. There's some big ones in here too, dude. Look at that fish, boy. Tell me that's not a fish right there. Yeah, look at that fish. Gentlemen, that fish there, boy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, dude, that's awesome, bro. Dude, on the Guggen baits, man, check that out. That's pretty. This is what you call a million dollar bass right here, boy. Check this baby out. Caught this at the golf course, man. Can you believe that? A swanky multi-billion dollar golf, golf course. All right, let's get that release. Whoa, look at that hook set, boy. Lucas, you sure you're 15 years old? Son, you got a hook set of a 30 year old. That's a good fish, brother. Another quality three and a half pounder, man. Yeah, he's probably about two and a half pound. That's not a bad fish, bro. Good job.
Lucas, did you have fun pond hopping today? Yeah, fun, fun. What did you learn? Rx is a cool guy. <laughs> <laughs> there you have it, guys, man. I had a blast. Hit up two ponds that we found on Google Maps. Technically, we went from the hood to the million dollar houses and we caught some fish, man. It was an awesome day. Whenever you're able to catch fish, bank fish like this, and you can't really get to the coast, I encourage you guys to come out and pond hop. Take a friend, take a young little dude like this guy, fishing. So if you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, guys, and uh, hit that bell notification to let you guys know, because I'm gonna be doing more of these pond hopping. I'm gonna go all over Houston, pond hopping, catching some big old bass. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you.